Jackie, commissioners and Judge Sims decided not to move forward on the relocation of the monument. But that didn't stop different citizens and residents from sharing their thoughts and opinions. Well, number two is consideration and action regarding approval. I know I shouldn't be Ma'am, I'm, I'm sorry. This is not appropriate. Tensions were high. Courthouse seats filled as public comments about the Confederate monument played out. For years, we have been told that we don't matter. For years, we have been told that we are less than. So when is Harrison County actually going to stand up on the right side of history? One after another, in a room with 68 people, four comments wanted removal. We heard Bible quotes in here today. The Bible taken out of context. Why bring God into something that is so ungodly? Mm. Two comments were tentative with other solutions and seven comments to keep the statue. And it has nothing to do with them feeling oppressed. Zero. It's political. It's to cause racial divide. That statue has bothered no one. No one. And the lady that started this was at the George Floyd funeral. So she has things to do with things other than this local area. After Commissioner Zephaniah Timmons voted for and then took back a vote for removal. I feel very proud of East Texas to hold strong and not fall down, not, not cave to PC, to the political correctness. Which left many celebrating a victory. Really no point in trying to mess with history and move it now when it's been there forever. I mean, we don't complain about the statues that are put up like the Obama statue and all that, and I don't care for them, but I mean, it's part of their history. It's, which is also part of her history, and I want her to be able to learn both sides. And others feeling like there's still work to be done. We won't stop until this statue actually comes down. There's no telling whether or not the motion will be revisited. Reporting here in Marshall, Jade Jackson, NBC6 News.